What's good, I'm a Ruthless Addicts. It's your girl, Tika Deshaun, and I am here to give you a review on the latest Ruthless Oval crossover. Okay, so as we all know, before there was a season break, uh, we know that uh, Barry met up with Daikon as well as Ruth. Um, he was told that he needed to bring back the money. Um, the money that Ruth had stashed at uh, Barry, Nancy, and Richard's home. Now, of course, Barry being Barry decides to go and meet up with Ruth alone. But not just meet up with Ruth, he ended up meeting the hands of several Rockadushi um, cult members. Um, yeah, they pretty much laid hands on him. Um, at the end of the day, we all know Barry is such a hothead. He should have never gone to that Rakadushi or to that meeting with the Rakadushi alone. He should have taken Richard or somebody with some form of protection because, of course, the Rakadushi cult members, they didn't come to play fair. Okay? Um, we know that Ruth told uh, Barry that he needed to bring the money and then he would be able to get his daughter. Now, when Barry got there, like I said, of course, um, he was jumped and placed inside the van. And, of course, there was no Callie, no baby girl Callie in that van. And so at this point, he's just const he's yelling, um, you know, the, the cult member as well as Ruth are basically headed on their way back to the Rakadushi compound. Um, he's, um, you know, he's, you know, I want my daughter, I want my daughter. Um, first of all, Barry, you need to calm down because you just got yourself in a situation where now you may not even be able to save Callie, okay? Um, then, you know, Ruth gets in the back of the van with Barry, and she tells him the only way that you're going to be able to get our daughter back or your daughter back is by, um, first of all, you're going to have to speak with the council. Okay, yeah, you brought the money, but the money means nothing. Now you're going to have to speak with the Rakadushi council. And they will determine whether or not you and the baby girl Callie will be able to be returned <laughs> to the real world. Okay. Um, now, my question, one of my questions, who is this freaking cult, this, um, freaking, um, council? Who, if you, if you looking for the highest and Daikon and, um, even Elder Mother Marva to be on this, um, council, Paul Barry and Paul Kelly gonna end up dead. Um, Cause you know they spare no blood for no one. They have no sympathy for no one. Um, and it is what it is. Whatever happens to you will happen. Okay. So Barry has found himself in a hot mess, and you know he shouldn't have never gone to meet with Ruth alone. He's so hard headed. He should have waited um, for Richard. But no, Barry being Barry, he decided he was gonna go alone to try to um, find or get them, give them the money. And, matter of fact, did, if, did you all see where he took some of the money out of the pack of money that he was supposed to give to them? So now just imagine when they get there and they count the money and they notice that not all of the money is, is there, it's gonna be even more trouble for him. Um, they need this money anyway, so the Rakadushi are pretty desperate. So at the end of the day, you know, there's probably no chance for um Barry. And poor little poor baby girl Callie, if she hasn't already been shipped off to Mexico to uh deliver drugs, um it's gonna be this thing is getting hot, 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 y'all. I'm telling y'all, this this thing is becoming a mess. And I don't know what else to say for Barry, but I did also notice when um, we were listening, or if you guys pay attention to the preview when they show like the next episode or what's going to happen, um, and the president is saying that 
telling uh, Victoria that their daughter was dropped off at some camp and then they show an image of the Rockadushi compound. So y'all trying to tell me that Gail has been dropped off at the Rockadushi compound? Oh no, baby girl gonna definitely come back in order. Okay, because it's some crazy stuff going on and that's if she lives. Um, and then your, her father, Victoria's father, took her to the Rockadushi compound? I could be speculating, y'all, but like I said, when they said that uh, uh, Gail had been sent to the to a camp, and then they showed an image of the Rockadushi compound, something ain't, something is not, um, something not ended up, something not adding up, okay? Um, and then everybody keeps speculating that the, um, the Rakadushi and the president or Victoria's father, they have something to do with each other. And at this point, of course, we don't know exactly what it is, but there is definitely something between the first family and the Rakadushi. Um... It's getting crazy. And at this point, oh yeah, <laughs> when um, Ruth told Barry, when you speak to the council, you better be respectful, okay? Now, can I tell y'all that Melissa L. Williams, when I reposted that, Melissa L. Williams was down in my comments and let us know respectfully that he better be respectful, okay? Yes. Yes, y'all. Uh, too, too funny. Um, but she was giving it. She was giving it to him. Ruth, Miss Melissa L. Williams, yes. She was giving us Ruth, Queen B, Queen, whatever she has going on. She was giving it to us last night, y'all, on this uh, new episode of The Oval. So I am definitely, 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 even though this is not about The Oval, it is sort of about the oval because it's a oval and a, it's a ruthless oval crossover, okay? So, I'm definitely going to try my best to come back every week. Um, just depending on if there's anything to do with um, the Rockadushi, Barry, Ruth, Callie. I'm definitely going to make sure that I come back and have this conversation with you guys, okay? All right, you guys, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know about all the different things. Am I the only one that saw that um, or heard what the president said and then they showed a picture of the camp? Am I the only one that saw that? Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> but, um, yeah, y'all let me know what you guys think and let me know anything additional that you guys noticed about um, what's currently going on on the Rockadusha compound, okay? Um, I can already tell y'all it's going to get, I think it's going to get even more crazy. And, you know, we're always looking forward to a new episode or the next couple of episodes of Ruthless. Unfortunately, we have to wait until November, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be well worth the wait, you guys. All right, so that's really about it. Um, if you guys are not doing anything on Monday, please go over to my Instagram page, and make sure you follow me. Um, I'm going to be going live. We're having a uh, trivia slash scavenger hunt. Um, I will also be giving a few more details in regards to um, the Ruthless Cruise. And you never know who may pop up on our live. You never know. You know, with Instagram, anybody can join your live. So hopefully, I mean, you know, you never know who may show up, whether it's a... Uh, a stand-in, a, a actual cast member. I don't care. All things Ruthless is over here, y'all. So, we love it. Anybody that's a part of Ruthless, we definitely love it, okay? All right, you guys. Well, that's about it. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for tuning in and taking a listen to what we have going on over here on this All Things Ruthless channel. Um, please make sure if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell so that you can receive notification of all new content, okay? All right, you guys. Thank you so much, and y'all have a great day.